I was invited by Space, I was invited by Persilia to, to think about a project that is related somehow to this neighborhood. The work is called An Idea of Progress. Most of these projects start out of observations, like basic observations, like be in a place and see what's going on. And it's pretty aggressive here in London to see how like real estate development is really everywhere. Many works of mine talk about like landmarks, history landmarks in the urban space, in the city, in the street. And I've been treating about like history and how history and can be read through the city or like or how hierarchy or power structures can be feel. Uh, how do you feel them in the city? I try to some sometimes try to yeah kind of broke this power image and bring these images to like the ground level in a way. I went to the uh, Hackney archives to make research about a little bit the history of the neighborhood. Um, also focusing on like, for example, I focus on newspaper, like sort of underground or alternative newspaper that were made in the 70s and the 80s. And I start noticing like since I arrived, we were talking a lot about gentrification, not because that was the subject I wanted to talk about, but just that was the subject we were talking about, like, by default. I'm filming mainly the uh, images and the imagery that is produced by the real estate companies uh, that is kind of covering the sites, the construction sites. And I got interested in the imagery they develop and how they promote themselves and how they show uh, these simulations of how this place and how the city is going to be real soon in like one year and some months. And, and also I was interested in like deconstruct or play with to analyze or criticize the ideology behind all this 3D imagery, all these close future simulations. I'm gonna start here. This is perfect. Yeah. And then, yeah, these are images. This is wonderful. So Look at this kitchen, my God. There's a lot of potential here. I mean, it's of course the way they, they advertise themselves, they try to sell themselves. They are reacting to a public, so they're also playing with the expectations of someone. Uh, for the people who are around, the people who pass here, who work here, so they're not only promoting themselves, but they're like also transforming the way people uh, consider their own way of life. Um, we're going to cover the whole facade of the building of space, which has kind of long facade on Mare Street. And we're going to cover with prints. And we're going to use like 3D images showing this kind of fantastic urban project. I describe it like as the monster. It's like an architectural monster mixing like many styles of contemporary architecture. But I'm also doing a video I'm going to show in the inside. It's images I'm filming in the construction size of the sim 3D simulations or, or the advertising they're generating and focusing on the details, on the lamps, and doing these smooth movements of camera. Like, for example, in this case, because of the perspective, it's very weird, but sometimes the perspective are like from the street view, you know? So sometimes you get confused. You don't know if it's like an actual... I'm actually filming a building or a filming an image. Oh, I'll try to bring up some kind of complexity layers. I don't feel comfortable with just cleaning up an issue and like just showing it and talk about this kind of perfect perfect object because I don't believe there is such a thing.